Hello, this is a proof of concept prototype for a stepper motor controlled turntable for a model railway. Here we have the stepper motor, which is a precision piece of equipment in itself, and the turntable bridge. And over here we have an optical beam, uh, an optical interrupter uh, beam there, and that is broken by this piece of metal. As the stepper motor rotates, and the metal breaks the beam, it indicates to the controller that a particular position. Over here we have the controller, which is an Arduino Uno, which is an off-the-shelf, uh, very readily available, quite cheap uh, microcontroller, and a couple of added boards, which they call shields. Uh, the middle one is a, an interconnect board, and it's just where I've uh, connected up the stepper motor and the optical beam and a few other bits and pieces. The top one is what they call a multifunction shield. It's got a display and some buttons, and that's just about all we're using on it. Uh, the rest of it is uh, quite surplus to requirements. Okay, th as it operates, uh, the microcontroller, the first thing it does is it rotates and breaks the light beam. I'll start it up now. And it rotates, breaks the light beam. And this particular version of the program uh, is purely for demonstration and playing. It uh, goes to one of the six random tracks that I've got set up. It will go to either uh, the coal bunker end lining up or uh, the smiley face end lining up. The display here will show which track it is lining up to and which direction the turntable is going to be lining up at. One of the issues that I have with this is that the gearbox that's built into the stepper motor has got a lot of free play. So when it locates a track in the anti-clockwise direction, it overshoots the track and then selects a track from a short distance out. We'll see it doing that in a moment. Okay, I'll put the rest of the deck on. The right way around. Right, going anti-clockwise, and it overshoots, and then pops back to the right place again. The stepper motor, being a precision piece of kit, uh, has got a very good uh, control. It can be very easily controlled by the uh, controller and we've got control over the acceleration, the speed, the direction and all sorts of things. At the moment you can see we've got uh, the thing being supplied by a USB controller. So the whole thing is running on USB powers. The microcontroller has got the capability of having about 100 or 200 uh, individual tracks laid out. I think that should be enough for most people. We've 
we've got the lovely blinking lights there. We can't have a computer control system without blinking lights. Every time the bridge rotates in a clockwise direction past the light beam, it recalculates and makes sure that it's still running accurately. In future developments I'm hoping to add uh, a few different versions of um, the user control to tell it where to go to and possibly a more elaborate screen mechanism.